Hey guys, Paranormal Video Gamer here. Real quick, um, I've kind of had to delay a couple of the um, videos because I haven't had time to edit because um, the week before I worked about 60 hours, I think it was like 57 or 58 hours, and then uh, last week I worked an additional 52 hours. Um, so I, I haven't really had a lot of time to do videos. As you guys know, I work for Amazon and um, Amazon right now is in overdrive because of all the people and you, you see my cat and she's, she's like, I'm going to be on camera. Oh, don't clean yourself when you're on camera, cat. That's the worst thing you could do on YouTube. Well, anyway, um, she's going to do it anyway because she knows, you know, She's got to be like, I got to look cute on camera. Shut up. But um, as you guys know, I work for Amazon. I, I work very hard uh, getting people what they need. And uh, one of the things that I want to put out there is that we do not have enough sanitation measures that are being taken. Um, for example, uh, there are not enough sanitizing wipes when we get to work to be able to sanitize uh, our stations and our equipment. Uh, and when a lot of people use that equipment, um, you, you, you get worried that, you know, someone could potentially have it, what's going on, and um, get you sick because of not, not sanitizing equipment and not sanitizing areas correctly. And it's very, very worrying. Um, and Amazon keeps posting that, like, they're they're taking the, the situation very seriously, and they're stepping up their cleaning protocols, and they're having things, you know, checked and double checked. And I'm going to tell you right now, where I work, that has not happened. Um, I will give you an example. When I worked yesterday, I saw a cleaning person once in a 10 hour shift on my floor, once cleaning. The other times that I saw a cleaning person, they were not cleaning. They were just standing around. Literally, they were standing just standing and talking to someone else in the cleaning department. They were not walking around and sanitizing stuff. They were not carrying like a bucket with a mop or anything like that. They were literally just standing there leaning against pallets of stuff and talking. So what I decided to do is after seeing that, and this has been going on for probably the last two weeks that I've seen this crap happen, I started sanitizing things by grabbing sanitizer uh, from the bathroom. I would literally put it uh, in my glove, soak my glove to the point where the, the whole thing is drenched with sanitizer, and then I would go over to the piece of equipment that I'm going to use, and I would literally use my glove to sanitize um, that particular piece of equipment that I need. Um, and it's not that these sanitary people, these cleaners, don't have the equipment or the resources. A lot of them just don't want to clean. They're there just to pretty much collect a paycheck and who gives a crap about if somebody gets sick. And that scares me. Especially with Amazon bringing in a bunch of new people that are from a very um, devastated area where a lot of people have been getting sick recently and they're bringing in people from that area, from those neighborhoods, and they're bringing them in to work. It raises my risk of getting whatever they may have. I'm sorry, I got a dry throat. But it's very, very scary. Not gonna lie. I am at high risk at Amazon, and I know this. 
There are other people that I've worked with that quit because they were terrified of the situation going on. And um, I'm not going to lie, I am scared. Um, I'm nervous, obviously, because I don't want to get sick. And, uh, you know, get really, really sick and have to go to the hospital and get put on a ventilator like a lot of people have been. That is terrifying because from what I understood, a lot of people that get put on a ventilator, they're put to sleep. They're put into a medically induced coma or something like that and they sleep. And uh, that worries me. It worries me and it worries what's going to happen if that were to happen to me. And it's terrifying if you think about it. You know, because at that point you just become a number. You don't become a person anymore. You know, you're just patient, you know, 1,900 and so and so. That's scary. But I understand taking that risk by working where I work is part of that understanding that I hope, I really do hope that Amazon is taking this seriously because from what I can see from my perspective, the people that they've hired to clean are not doing their jobs. Now, I'm not saying every single person, but the majority of people that I've seen at my job, at my building, at my location, where I go, they are not taking it seriously. And I brought this up to both HR and a supervisor, and I've not heard anything. And like I said, I brought this up two weeks ago, and I brought this up last week, and Nobody has said anything to me about it. I also opened up a, uh, there's a thing where you can actually contact your HR and um, tell them your concerns. And the next day I got a notification that the case was closed. And all I said was, you know, what is Amazon doing that, you know, is going to, ensure, you know, I'm going to be okay. And, you know, I know you guys are saying you're doing deep cleaning and stuff like that, but I mean, can you give me a little bit more information? Are we having people tested before they are brought in to be hired? And I got a generic response. Uh, basically it was the same response that they put out publicly and that's it. That's it. And that terrifies me. I mean, it does. So, I don't really know what else to say. Um, But I just wanted to say something. Because you guys know I, I I don't like to filter, you know I don't like to cover things I I do what I what I want to do and talk, you know from my perspective. And um, it's concerning. I mean it is. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, that's my thoughts, my opinions, and what I see, what I experience. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon. And uh, I got some new videos coming for you down the pipeline with some commentary. uh, Because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do a live stream. So, But I'll let you guys know as soon as I can. Hopefully we get this over with quicker rather than later. So for all you that are out there, please stay, stay. I talk today. Please stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other.